politicians shoot from the hip. Some candidacies start from the heart. And in our number one story in the countdown, then there is Loretta Nall, who has busted out of the pack of candidates for Alabama governor in media attention, at least using her chest. And a touch of honesty that could impress the average folks, the ones you remember H.L. Mencken used to call the bourgeoisie. Ms. Nall, who will join us presently, is the Libertarian Party's write-in candidate for governor of Alabama. Even she might confess she's unlikely to win the election, but a campaign slogan of sorts has thrust her candidacy forward. It appears on T-shirts, comparing her to the other candidates, proudly stating, quote, more of these boobs and less of these boobs. Ms. Nall's campaign platform equally bold. She supports legalizing marijuana and not complying with the Patriot Act. But the Libertarian Party could not garner the 40,000 signatures required to get her name on the ballot. No matter, because her latest campaign tactic, she says, quoting, started out as a joke, but it blew up into something huge. Joining us now, as promised, Loretta Nall. Thanks for your time tonight. Thank you so much for having me on, Keith. How did you arrive at this particular campaign strategy? Um, it kind of was thrust upon me by the media in Alabama. There were two dirty old men who happened to be journalists uh, down in Montgomery. And one wrote a column uh, without ever interviewing me for the column. He just kind of poo-pooed it, said I was silly and crazy and doing it just for fun. And he asked the editor of one of the newspapers that was running uh, his column to find a picture of me to run. Now, the sensible thing to do in a gubernatorial election would be to call the campaign and ask for a campaign photo. But, oh, no. They went to Google uh, and uh, Googled me on uh, Google Images and came up with a picture. It's a couple of years old where, well, I had a little bit of cleavage show, and I'm not ashamed of the picture, um, and used that photo. And then in the next column the next week, the columnist said, you know, in 55 years of political writing here in Alabama, he'd never had a woman show cleavage in his column, and his mother was about to roll over in her grave. And so I, uh, I just kind of I sat down and wrote a letter to the editor, and I thanked him for introducing the twins to Alabama and told them if uh, they were offended, I would don my burqa and come down, and we could sit down and talk about the issues. And if for nothing else, thanks for getting me the horny guy vote. I really appreciate it. A vote's a vote, after all. So what, what, what was your purpose in running, in, in running? What is your campaign platform besides this, uh, this sort of uh, semi-sarcastic one? Well, uh, you alluded to the legalization of marijuana. I think we need to address the drug war from a criminal, I mean, from a health and social justice perspective as opposed to criminal justice because that's obviously not working. We're spending $40 billion a year to incarcerate American citizens and wage war here. Uh, I believe we need to pull our troops out of Iraq. And as governor of Alabama, I will be calling for the withdrawal of the National Guard troops from Iraq. Uh, as governor, you don't have a great deal of power in that area, but I think if governors start calling for their sons and daughters to come home, then maybe finally... Uh, uh, we will have an impact in Washington, D.C. Uh, I believe in naturalizing the immigrants that are in Alabama, the Hispanic immigrants. We have a lot of uh, uh, politics of hate and racism still play a part down here, as I'm sure you well know. And so I think if it's actually a, a fiscal matter of them not paying taxes, then the only fiscally conservative thing to do and fiscally responsible thing to do would be to naturalize them and add them to the tax base. Um, uh, we have some local issues, lottery and casino gambling. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we should have that here in Alabama, uh, things of that nature. Do you go, you go on conservative radio talk shows and, and go to civic clubs, and, and do you get to do address the issues, or is, is it all back to the uh, boobs versus boobs thing? Oh, no, no. The boobs thing is actually uh, it just started in the national media when the AP ran an article. Uh, occasionally it comes up that, and, and the not wearing panties uh, has come up a couple of times. Uh, but the civic clubs and, you know, the uh, Kiwanis and Rotary clubs and things of that nature and the conservative talk radio, they understand the issues that I'm talking about and they understand the economic impact and they actually don't think I'm all that crazy. I got 30 seconds left. If, you're, if you do not become governor of Alabama, are you going to continue in politics? Are you going to try something else? Absolutely. I'll be running against uh, U.S. Congressman Mike Rogers in Alabama's 3rd District in 2008. And in 2010, uh, who knows, I'll maybe run for governor again. Well, we wish you the best of luck on this. Loretta Nall, libertarian candidate for governor of Alabama, uh, forthright and honest about this. And, and uh, good luck with both the, uh, the, the serious and the less than serious elements of the campaign. Good luck on November 7th. Thank you so much.